Hey boys and girls, it's Levi Michaelis here for MHG Academy. Today we're going to be learning how to put in footage from the HD camera into the computer. So our first step is to connect the camera to the computer and by that we're going to use a USB connection and connect it in the back and then on the camera we're going to connect it on the HDMI side right there. So once we've plugged in the camera to the computer, we're going to turn it on. And once we're on, we're going to hit this playback button to view clips. And it's going to ask to select the device for the USB connection. And you're going to hit computer slash printer. And it's going to create thumbnails of all of the clips going into the computer. And that should be it. You should be ready to move to the computer in Prelude. So now that we are on the computer, uh, we're going to open Prelude and it's very important that you make sure to open Prelude first instead of Premiere because if you ju just bring in footage to Premiere we'll forget where it is. So once you go to Prelude you're going to make a new project preferably in your TV Pro raw footage folder if you're bringing in raw footage. Uh, I was going slow here. Uh, Yep, so make sure you title the name of your project with dashes and no slashes because it doesn't like that. And just name it whatever you filmed. In this case, it's basketball versus Hanover. And make sure you write the date as well so that you know and, or you can find it easier. So once you have made a project, you're going to click in the left box on the left hand side and, up and hit double click to import media. And then find the Canon section and the AVC HD. For to find the clips from your camera, and it was going to take a few minutes for it to load up, depending on how many clips there are. Um, once you once you would like to select a clip to ingest, you're going to click the little check in the bottom right hand corner of the clips. You can do Command A to select all, or commit a Shift and click to uh, to have more than, to uh, import more than one at the same time. Then you're going to make sure you go into the raw footage folder and name this <coughs> the same as probably you named your project uh, the, na the date and the name of whatever you were doing well, so that it's very particular and that you know where to find it this is basketball versus what was Hanover and make sure there's dashes and no slashes and then all you're going to do is uh, hit the ingest button and you should see in the bottom left hand corner it says ingesting and it says the percentage and to pause or to stop it so and after a while, once it as oh, well, close it. Once it ingested, it you should see it up in the box in the left hand corner again. Um, so yeah. So uh, and you can you uh, yeah. So there's your whole clip in in, uh, in Prelude. And now we're gonna go to Premiere. So once you're in Premiere, you're gonna make your new project and obviously just make it whatever, whatever you. Uh, whatever you want it to be based on whatever your clips you have so in this case it's basketball so I choose what folder I'm going to put it in this one you don't put in raw footage because this is going to be your so you probably find your folder in whatever TV Pro you're in and you're going to make sure that um, make sure it's going into your folder wherever you want to go and open a Premiere then go to media browser and then find your folder in the media browser uh, yeah I was struggling here for a second um, yep, so once I found it, found Macintosh HD, went to television production and found my folder. And the clips are all, uh, wait. Oh. Took me, a, took me a second to find it. There we go. <laughs> so it can be difficult to find things at times, that's why it's important you write the name of what you're shooting and the date so it's easier to find it. Here we, go. we found it and we're going to bring that clip down into the left hand box and we'll import it and bring it into your Premiere project. And there you go. Now you should have a, a clip that you can put on your timeline and use for editing purposes. You're all set to edit and all set to uh, make your make your video. I hope this was helpful. This has been Levi Michaelis for MAT Academy.